Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. It's October 29, 2012. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimbino. A large storm is slamming the East Coast right now. Some closures to the New York markets are happening. Also some delays there. Chicago, however, is trading as normal. As you can see here, corn is down about three and a half cents. Soybeans, the leader to the downside, off about 33, 34 cents. Wheat in Kansas City and Chicago both off uh, about five or six cents this morning. You know, Logan, uh, we did see some closures to the New York markets. Yep. So why don't you give us an update what's going on? Yeah, Brock, well, here's kind of what we're looking at right now. Stock exchanges are closed. That's including electronic sessions there. Accordingly, we see CME Group equity futures and options on those futures got closed this morning about 8.15 a.m. Central Time. If we take a look at crude oil on the NYMEX, metals trading on the COMEX, those are both open trading normally here this morning, like the grains are. One thing to keep an eye on though, crop progress is getting delayed here this afternoon. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. One big thing uh, fundamentally that the trade needs to keep an eye on is the good to excellent rating out of this emerging winter wheat crop. Trade's looking for about 45 to 50% rated good to excellent there. With this corn and soybean crop now in the bin, those aren't going to be big movers. The, the number that really has a, a chance to affect this grain market here is that wheat number. One more thing, I guess, you know, we're just kind of looking at this market right now. Corn and wheat trading relatively unchanged. We see beans trading down about 30 cents right now. Very light volume in this market. A lot of people on the East Coast are staying home right now, not trading here today. Uh, if we look at Friday's commitment of traders reports, the funds right now are long about 181,000 contracts. If those funds um, decide to leave this market, which they may be moving here to do, uh, after some technical resistance was hit on Friday and now with the storm Monday, they may be pushing this thing lower on a light volume day. We'll have to keep an eye on though uh, on that here as we approach the close. That's kind of what we're looking at here from our domestic markets. Brock, South America is becoming more and more important as they get that crop in the ground. How's the weather situation shaping up there? We have seen quite a bit of rain over the last several weeks, in, right. especially in the southern part of Brazil, northern part of Argentina. It looks like we're going to see that again here this week. Some isolated pockets of up to three to four inches of rain today. Yep. Uh, into the later part of the week, we're also going to see some more widespread rains. But, you know, the areas of concern right now are Rio Grande de Sol and the Piranha areas of southern Brazil. Northern Argentina is also concerned. Uh, and really it's for the winter wheat crop that they're actually harvesting right now. Uh, looks like uh, up to a third of the crop could be affected by this excessive rains. We could see some yield reductions, some production right. reductions. So that's something we're going to have to monitor as we move forward. But it does look like we're going to get a little bit of a, a, a turn in what kind of precipitation they are getting. Later on this week, it's supposed to get a little bit drier in those southern parts of Brazil and northern Argentina, whereas up in the west central part of Brazil, Mato Grosso region, the number one soybean growing state, it's supposed to get a little bit wetter, and they actually need the rain right now. So that's going to be uh, something key that we'll have to pay attention to as we move throughout this week. Right, certainly South American production is going to be critical here to rebuilding gl really global grain stocks, especially for soy here moving forward after a very short U.S. harvest, as we're all aware of. So we'll have to keep you posted on that here on Grain TV. Throughout the trade day, we'll be tweeting about market closures and if any of these markets do open back up on Twitter, at Grain TVs, where you can find us there on Twitter. That wraps up our show, though, here for Monday morning. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.